So in three years of private label selling on Amazon, this is absolutely the weirdest, craziest, most unbelievable thing that has happened to me the entire time I've been selling. Okay, so before I can explain exactly what happened, I need to make sure that you understand what a hijacker is on Amazon. And that's not exactly what the case was with this particular problem, but it's just background information that you need to know. So honestly, it's been barely an issue in the past few years, and it's not something I even hardly think about anymore. But a hijacker is when another seller jumps onto your listing claiming to have your product, right? And assuming you're a private label, private label seller, Assuming you're a private label seller, which means you have your own unique product, then in theory, nobody should have your product, right? That's the whole point of private, of, of private label. And uh, in normal like wholesale, hijacking is what everyone's doing. Everyone's jumping on the same listing selling Nike shoes or whatever. Uh, but with private label, you do that so that you have control over your own product, right? Um, so hijacking is when somebody, usually like maybe it's a manufacturer in China or India, jumps onto your listing with a generic product or something like that and they try to sell it. Anyways, that has not really been much of an issue anymore in the past couple years. I've personally found it's just, uh, it, this was an issue more a few years ago. Like Amazon has made it more difficult, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's get into the actual story. So a few days ago on my top ASIN, ASIN meaning, you know, the single product, right? So my, my top SKU, uh, got a hijacker on it. And that was especially weird because this is a product that is quite customized and it had never had a hijacker before. So it's, un so it's especially unusual. So there were only really a few possibilities for what could have been going on in this situation because it's a, it's a fairly unique product. Um, so basically my theory was either one, this person is just selling straight up generic items on my listing. Like if mine has a certain color, my brand, blah, 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 it's my design in my box. My theory was maybe they're just selling straight up plain ones and they're just doing the true hijack method and they're just trying to like, you know, take some of my sales and they're just selling something that is truly not even the same product. That would have been theory number one. Theory number two was that Amazon sometimes loses inventory, like you'll send it in and then it'll say like, oh, they lost it and they'll reimburse you back. It's usually not too big of an issue, but then sometimes they find that inventory later and who knows exactly what they do with it. So it might end up in the hands of wholesalers. They'll liquidate it, they'll sell it off. So somebody might actually somehow legitimately have your inventory. So that was my second theory was that this person actually had my product somehow. Um, my third theory was that they were legit counterfeits and I was thinking like so maybe they actually you know put my logo tried to copy my design tried to copy everything and tried to actually create my product and so I didn't vlog this yesterday or the past couple days as I was going through this I probably should have but I was frankly kind of pissed off and just dealing with it right uh, so um, yesterday I go to my UPS box pick it up the um, pick up the package open it up and it literally, they are counterfeits. And that was just, first of all, I was just like, holy fuck, that's absolutely unbelievable. Like literally insane. So somebody went through all the effort to have manufactured a product with my logo, with my colors, with my technology, with my, uh, my retail box. They copied all my text, copied all my graphic work, copied everything and literally cre like reverse engine, not like reverse engineered, but reversed my, entire design and they were selling this product and that was absolutely mind-blowing to me <laughs> i've got to run to an in-person amazon coaching session but i'll continue the story after that All right, I'm back from that first meeting. 
again, it's just so awesome that uh, I'm getting to meet so many of you and I get to teach you what I've learned. It's just really fun. So that was an awesome meeting. And uh, he mentioned that his 15 year old daughter was actually the one that found my channel. So if you're watching this, sorry, I don't know your name, but I, I'm glad that you're liking my videos and I hope that you continue to watch and enjoy them. To make a long story short on the counterfeit issue, basically I was able to get that seller taken off. Um, I have a trademark for that brand, like an actual official legal, legal trademark, so Amazon takes that pretty seriously. File the trademark claim and a um, listing infraction, listing violation claim, which uh, is the one that stated that it was counterfeit and like what the differences are between their product and mine. Uh, so they got taken down right away. So that was like once I had to wait to receive the product though. So not like literally right away, but once I submitted the claim. So that was all in all, like that stuff happens and you figure it out. It's not a huge deal, but in this particular case, it's actually kind of flattering. Cause like how amazing is that, that somebody literally created counterfeits of my product. Like, I guess that means my product is pretty, well out there you know like so that's kind of cool um i'll also make a note of just like because i feel like some people are still just a little confused about what private label even means and like how that's different from counterfeit and like counterfeit is straight up legit copying everything like counterfeit would be like you create nike socks and put the nike logo on them private label would be like you make your own socks that are like similar in quality under your own brand name, your own design, and try to market your own socks as your own thing. That's cool, that's private label, that's creating your own brand, whatever. Counterfeiting is straight up illegal. <laughs> also, maybe I could even like literally sue them. Maybe that'd be good vlog content, I don't know. Hopefully you guys liked that story. Still think it was pretty insane. Definitely subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Matt Loberstein. If you're interested in a call like the ones I had today, there's a link. It's the first link in the description. And what do I usually say? <laughs> See you. Subscribe all that. Yeah, I already sort of said that. See you next time. And, and like, share, subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>